Breast carcinoma is the fifth leading cause of death in Mauritius. Chances are, 12% chances are, any given time, a lady may have, a woman may have breast carcinoma during her lifespan. The quality of life is invariably compromised whenever any patient suffers from cancer, which includes mental, physical, and social aspects of women's life. The stress of pain, fear of unknown, fear of cancer, diagnosis, treatment, depression, social and family factors, and the finances, they're enormous. So that is why it is very important to catch the disease young by screening such people. There are certain risk factors in a woman getting breast carcinoma. And these are early menstruations, menstruations till late age, obesity, dense breast, consuming consumption of alcohol, smoking, this family history of carcinomas or some gene mutations which may take place in families which may expose the person or the woman to breast carcinomas at an early age. So whenever any patient she discovers by way of self-examination some breast lump or nipple discharge or deviation of nipple or nipple inversion or any change in the contour of breast which is not normal, she should immediately report to the doctor. Once she comes over to the doctor, the doctor gives a thorough examination as a part of first stage of triple assessment and after which on suspicion or whatever he has seen, the patient is referred to radiology for further investigations. La diagnose du cancer du, du sein est très importante, précoce, parce que ça signifie la vie. Et pourquoi je dis ça? Parce que si on trouve le cancer au, au début, la guérison et survival rate des, des patients, c'est à peu près 90%. So once the radiological investigations have been done and there's been some suspicion of some lesion inside the breast, the patient goes in for third part of triple assessment, which is by way of fine needle aspiration cytology or biopsy, wherein a needle is put into the suspected lump and some tissue or fluid is taken out, which is subjected to microscopic examination, which will confirm or disprove the diagnosis. So if it is positive for cancer, thereafter the person is counseled and subjected to various modes of treatment which depends on the age, the biologic uh, tumor, the biology of the tumor, the stage of the disease and whether the patient needs to have breast, breast conservation or not. There are multiple modalities which includes re removing a part of the lump, re removing a part of the breast which is known as lumpectomy followed by radiotherapy or straight away go in for radical mastectomy which removes the most all the breast and the lymph nodes or the swellings which are there in the armpits combined with chemotherapy, radiotherapy, hormonal therapy which depends on the hormonal status of the patient. So my recommendation to the ladies after 20 years of age that they should regularly do self-examination and if there's any suspicion they should go in for screening by way of ultrasound and mammography. After the treatment is over, rehabilitation of the patient is very, very important. And to conclude, I may say they need to take care of themselves. They need to take uh, trust their doctors in the hospital. And if there's any information required, they can always contact in the Eagle Clinic.